yeah. Getting ready to roll out. What's going on? What's going on? Today we got a not much going on today. We got a pool patio cleaning to do. Sorry about that. I'm driving and holding the phone at the same time. Everything's loaded up. Still using that DIY YouTube series build that I'm doing uh, for you guys to be able to basically knock out the excuses that you need, you know, the fanciest, craziest equipment. I want to show that, you know, you can go out here and make thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars with a janky looking setup. Now, does it look the best? It's not going to look as good as a professionally made turnkey uh, system like, you know, a skid made by a company. But it will get the job done. I've got to go to this five star and get me a monster because I overslept this morning. I was going to go and get me a bunch of chem. Um, but basically, I'm going to post treat what I can with what I've got left. Uh, when I post treat, it's straight SA, straight 12.5% lava sun. Um, makes it, it gives it a real white look when you use uh, straight lava. This video is going to be hopping on the trend of like day in the life of pressure washer or whatever. Um, today, I'm traveling an hour away um, for, I'm going to, I don't know, you guys probably watch him, uh, Kentucky Wash Pros, Jeremy. I'm heading to his hometown right now, um, and I'm doing a job there. Normally, I would not drive all the way down there uh, because that's simply out of my service area, and that's more his service area. Uh, usually, if I get calls for that area down there, I, I tell him to call him, but <clears throat> and he, he doesn't even know that. But I don't like driving down that far. Uh, we got some slow folks. Um, but the only reason I'm going to do this one is because um, it's a really good friend of mine's uh, father-in-law. So I'm going to go down there and knock it out. Uh, tomorrow we got some uh, baby doctor stuff we got to do. So not going to be much happening tomorrow. I might go out and give a few quotes tomorrow. Uh, basically, I'm pu I pushed everything out uh, to go around my schedule uh, the rest of the day. I'm gonna be working on my skid, I think, unless uh, I get an accepted quote that I sent out last night, then I'll go do that job. Um, towards the end of this week, the call volume has slowed down a little uh, for me. Um, it was coming in through Facebook and uh, just general calls. Got a bunch of quotes out right now. I need to follow up with them probably after I finish this job, see what they're thinking. Um, got, I probably got at least 20 grand minimum out in quotes, probably more. Need to give them a call, give them a ring. That is a tip for you guys. Make sure you're following up. I usually, so here's my follow up uh, style. I will follow up the day after I send the quote. If nothing else is said, if they do not close that day and they're maybe they're thinking about it or talking about it or whatever, because my quotes are rather large. Like it's not just, you know, three four hundred bucks like last night i sent out three quotes that were minimum thirty five hundred bucks so uh one of them was over four grand so you know i get it they're probably like holy crap what do you think of this should we get our deck uh washed and stained for four grand and then they sit there and talk about it and then i, I i've sent them different colors and stuff <laughs> and this is for online you know you can close a little better when you're on the phone with them and then in person but these were you know online quotes that came in through facebook uh facebook neighborhood groups all facebook ads and um basically i'll follow up the day after so today towards the evening i'll follow up with those quotes i gave out yesterday if i don't get back from them if they don't reply or anything um i will follow up three days from now or from yeah today today will be the day after <laughs> And then if there's still no response, I will follow up the immediate day after and say, um, probably give them a call. If they don't respond to my messages, I'll give them an actual call. Nine times out of 10, they'll answer. If they don't answer, then I will follow up one more time a week out. Um, and if they don't answer, don't reply, I'm just assuming that they ghosted. 
and that they uh, have declined the uh, or the uh, estimate. So I'll go ahead and mark that in mark eight as declined. And if they call me and they say they want to go ahead with it, you know, a month from now, I take a look at it and then I'll reevaluate from there. But uh, that is kind of my follow-up process. Now, when you're closing in person, it's a little bit easier. When you're closing on the phone, it's a little bit easier. I try my best to get them on the phone, but a lot of people are just tire kickers, just messaging, dude. That's just what it is, unfortunately, most of them. Um, it's getting toward the end of the month. The weather's really pretty. Uh, I might make a push for a lot of volume here at the end of the month just to beef up my revenue numbers. So, and when I do that, here's how you do that. Um, you post in local Facebook groups with some sort of offer when you're wanting to do a little bit of volume to buff up your numbers for the next month. Because I don't know, I might blow up the next month and might need a ton of uh, cash laying around, right? So what I'll do is I'll say something like, get, I don't know, 10, you name it, 10, 15% off. And I don't like giving offers, but like literally there's two days, two or three days left of the month. And if you want to beef up your numbers, you can, you know, start giving an offer. Um, and what I'll do is like, hey, for, let's say I post in the Lexington, Kentucky uh, buy, sell, trade group. I'll say, members of Lexington, Kentucky buy, sell, trade group only deal. Um, and I'll do something like, you know, 15% off pressure washing services. Uh, I'll put when you buy a house wash and bundle it with another service. So automatically, you know, let's say you have a minimum of 275 or 300 bucks, and let's say you can do a 2,000 square foot house for, you know, anything around $300. You do that, and then uh, let's say they book their driveway cleaning as well, or gutter cleaning. Well, for a one story for me, gutter cleaning is 275 minimum. Uh, for two story, it's 375 minimum, probably pushes over 400 just because I got to get up high and I'm risking my life on a roof. The um, driveway, you're looking at an extra at least $200 minimum, right? For standard small size driveways, minimum. Easy to do, easy to knock out. So your ticket will already start out for a house wash at let's say 275. Let's say that's your minimum for a house wash. And then when they get another service, let's say they get a, let's say it's a one story and it's a gutter cleaning. So that instantly pops up another 275 uh, let's see. I can't really do math right now. We'll just say it is 550. I can't, I, I can't do math right now. I'm driving. Um, it's, it's at least 500 bucks, right? So 250 and 250 is 500. So we'll just call it 500 bucks. That's your average ticket doing this sort of end of the month promotion that I like doing. Um, so, and if they book more services after that, or they want two more services, like they want both the gutters and the driveway done and the house, that's like a total package, right? You're looking at an $800, you know, seven, $800 ticket. That's how you get your ticket up. And then you take off, you know, your little 15%. I usually will just take it off the house wash and they'll just, you know, they, they, they just won't know. Um, you can take a 15% off the whole ticket if you want to. My thing is, is I'm just, I'm running it as 15% off a house wash when you bundle with other services. So that's kind of a way you can get your ticket up, uh, end of the month sale, promotion deal type deal. Um, a lot of times <clears throat> you'll get rid of the tire kickers as soon as they, they take you up on that offer and then they go to, to, to bundle the second, uh, service for like a driveway clean and they see the tickets like 400 something dollars 500 dollars and they're like oh my god oh my god that's expensive 500 dollars i thought this was a deal <laughs> and then you just get rid of them so you're still getting that premium customer that way um even though you're offering a deal you'll still get your premium customer at premium price by bundling services all right let's get on to the job and get this thing rolling
I know what's wrong with it. it ain't got no gas in it. <laughs> up the full patio I did not record the rest of it or the wrapping up uh, the customer he's an older gentleman uh, he had his own house building company for years and uh, owned a grocery store and everything and uh, made him talk for probably an hour you know about everything and like he thinks that you know basically I'll, I'll do pretty good stuff especially if I keep going like I'm going, which is great here. It's great to have a customer that understands, um, you know, what it's like to grow a business, a service business. Like his was building homes, a little bit different, uh, but he was like, he was in the grocery business for 18 years. So it's, it's pretty cool to uh, talk with someone in the later parts of their life, going through the things that I'll, I'm either going through or will go through, you know what I mean? To see what I'm doing and what I've already got understanding of and, and what I'll see in the future. Um, talked about hiring employees and stuff like that, and what, what to look for, what not to look for, blah, blah, blah. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool customer. He will be a yearly customer now, and next year, next May, he wants his house, uh, his house wash, uh, we agreed on $475 cash, uh, paid me $350 cash today for his little sidewalk and pool patio. So next year, he basically said he wants his house washed uh, every other year, and then the pool patio washed every other year. So I'll at least, next year I'll make $475 from that one customer, and then the year after that it'll be $3, $350 for the pool patio. So it's a constant... Uh, consistent revenue coming in from that customer I just took care of today. Me talking to him for an hour, yes, that took an hour of my time out of my day, but guess what? That got me a lifelong customer for as long as he's living. So, uh, for those of you that don't want to talk to customers, they want to get in, get out, you know, don't want them to waste their time, I'm heading to do a quote right now on a cleaning and parking lot striping. Uh, they want me to stripe the parking lot as well. That'll be interesting. Uh, but that's where we're headed right now. Um, probably won't record anything else for this episode. Uh, but that's been my day today. It's not been a long day. Uh, just some flat work today. And some quoting the rest of the day. And then tomorrow I don't have anything scheduled because we're going to the baby doctor uh, for our son uh, to get checked up on. So... Um, I try to be there for every one of them and then take her, take her to the doctor. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. Um, and then getting ready for a busy weekend. So might do some sign, put up some signs later tonight. If I do that, then the video went on end. But if it does, please hit the like and subscribe button. Go to our school page. It is now a dollar to join. Uh, I was basically giving away a thousand dollars in value for free with the PDF documents there. Um, if you want those documents, you're going to have to take out your card and you're going to have to give me a dollar. You know, tough luck. If you ain't got a dollar, you don't need to be starting pressure washing. That's just what it is, man. Um, all right. I'll either see you later or I'll see you in the next video. Peace.